it is New Year's Eve today. So, Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year early. I hope you had a phenomenal 2023 and made all of the goals, at least some of the goals that you wanted to accomplish. And uh, now we get on to 2024, which I would love to hear some of your New Year's resolutions. Let's, let's make them happen. We're starting the year off fresh. Let's get a great New Year's resolution started and finished by January. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. One of my New Year's resolutions, by the way, is to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. It has been one of my main goals since I started this channel about five years ago. And who knows, maybe this is the year. With your help, with our special relationship that we have, I think we can do it. So besides all of this, let's get into the video. Will Simpson here, and welcome back to the channel. And yes, you're right, my hoodie does say what the F. It's a play on F-stop, I thought it was clever, I threw it all together and it's part of my merchandise package, which I'll link in the description if you ever wanna get one. But today, we are going over the Orton Effect. Now, I'm sure you've heard of what the Orton Effect is, and I'm sure you've watched videos about it. However, I did a little research on the Orton Effect, and I actually found a kind of a cool process. It's by a YouTuber named Nick Page, and I really liked his technique, so I'm gonna show you uh, how that works. But I'm also gonna link him in the description, so go give him a shout. Say, hey, I saw you on Will's channel. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> welcome to the wonderful world. Man, I cannot talk today. Welcome to the wonderful world. world. I'm gonna have some water because I clearly can't speak today. It's a tongue-tied tongue -tied syndrome. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Here we are in Photoshop. Now, the first thing we want to do is depending on how, many, how much editing you've done, you're gonna wanna combine all the layers into a full image layer. Now, you can do that on a Mac by pressing Shift, Command, Option, E, and then on a PC, it's Control, Shift, Alt, E. This will create an entire layer on top. That way, all of your adjustments and everything are combined into one. This is step number one. Then I make a copy of that pressing Command J. So I already did, I have two copies here first already. All right, now that we have our layer, the first thing we're gonna do is convert our layer into a smart object. This way it's going to save all of our adjustments. So right click on the layer, go to convert to smart object. Now that we've converted it to a smart object, everything that we've adjusted, everything that we change and, and do, will save so we can adjust it later. So the first thing we're gonna do is come up to filter, go to Gaussian blur, and we're going to apply a blur because Orton effect is kind of a soft glow around certain things. Now, a way to figure out how much you want to blur is if you know the megapixels of the camera you shot the image with, stick around there. So this was shot with, shot with the Canon R5, so that's about 48, 50 megapixels. So we're just going to dial it in to about, ooh, geez, let's just type it in to 50 and press OK. Now we have our Gaussian blur. Now we're going to apply it only to the highlights. So we're gonna double click on the layer. We're going to come here to blending options and the current layer, and we're gonna slide this bracket all the way up. Actually, if you move this over, watch this here as I slide this up. Notice the blur is here. As I slide this up, it's pulled off of the rocks. Now we want to affect the whites and the highlights. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to about the whites and highlights. We're gonna push alter option to split this and slide this over to make the transition a little easier. Now you'll notice here it's really heavy. So we're gonna slide this down a little bit. Good, and then we're gonna feather this a little bit more. And you can adjust this as you want. And obviously this opacity on this one is 100%, so it doesn't look as good as it will. So once you've gotten this to where you like it, press okay. And then we're going to do something kind of clever. First, let's lower the opacity to about 15%. Anywhere from 10 to 20% generally is good. So here's our before, here's our after. Now you can't really see much, but let's zoom in here. Here's our before, here's our after. It's just a little bit softer. Now we're gonna add some color back into it, really add that glow. And this is what I thought was very, very clever that Nick did uh, opposed to other people. So we're gonna, using this layer, we're gonna go into filter, we're going to apply a camera raw filter. Because it's a layer, you can apply this color to it and you have the full tools of the camera raw filter. So we're gonna click this. 
then we're going to apply a lot of adjustments because remember this is only going into the highlights so we can get a little aggressive so we're going to warm it up a lot there's no specifics on this you can adjust this as needed we're going to tent it up a lot we're going to saturate it 22 sure why not we're going to vibrant it 25 sure why not we're going to go into the light and we're going to brighten it up because we can control everything in opacity how cool is that Good, now once we're done, press OK, and watch, as what we did didn't really affect the image. <laughs> but isn't, I mean, you can see the changes. Watch this, watch this, before, after. I mean, that looks amazing. Now, again, you can go in and then you can double click on camera raw filter and adjust it. You can double click on Gaussian blur and adjust it and get it exactly how you want. Now that we've gotten this done, let's raise the opacity and find out where we like it. So I think 20% looks pretty good. But here's the before and here's the after. Now let's say you don't really like it on the rocks as much. All right, well, let's make that even easier. First, we're going to press Command or Control G with the layer and we're going to rename this Orton effect. Then collapse it. We're going to put a mask on it by clicking this little box with a circle in it. Press B on the keyboard for the brush. We're gonna lower the opacity to about 55%. And we're just going to paint away the Orton effect as much as we don't want it here. And that way we get it all freaking gorgeous. And that is the unique Orton effect that I thought was really, really cool. But to make even things easier, I created an action for this. And if you wanna download it for free, there's a link in the description, click that link, and you can download the Orton action for free. <laughs> How cool is that? Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, happy new year. And you know what? If you're interested in some more videos, YouTube recommends that video, I recommend this video, and I'll see you next year, or in the next video, one of the two. Have a good one, happy new year.